plays and welcome back to some more pj tour 2k23 and it's another week it's another tdc tours and it's another challenge circuit walk for walk for walk through from the chubbs peterson memorial a course called gorilla garden by turp shoops let's have a look at the course details so this is four pins a white and blue tees the blue tee is playing the longest at 6822 yards which makes sense that it is a par 71 because it is a short course and the settings view in round one this week will be blue tees pin set one medium winds northeast direction fairways are firm greens are firm green speed is fast time of day default weather default and the crowds are on Let's get underway and see what you guys are facing in the challenge circuit this week. As I always say in a challenge circuit, guys, I would be looking to average four under every nine holes. Seems to be a good way to be getting yourself promoted through the leagues. Obviously, in the lower divisions, you probably don't need anywhere near that. But in the higher divisions, probably A to D, four under every nine should get you a decent score. And we got a 424 yard opening par four. She had nothing but a wedge in, I would assume. This one's around 110 yards. 109 yards. I think I have a 111. I do have a 111. A little bit of D loft on this because it is uphill. Legislate for the wind. Ah, oh, that slow is going to take me right and oh, short, probably. But not too bad. Solid approach there. Pin high. Not too bad. So a short opening hole. Green speed is 155 in your opening round this week, guys. For those of you yet to play, normally a bit of turn in these, so let's see. Going towards that hole. And that's a nice opening hole. This, so 400 far, yards so par four, always a nice way to start. Try to keep it, there. it looks like we have a par three up next. Let's see who's leading the way. JTB10121 one tap. That's an interesting name. Wouldn't want to look you up on the friends, take a while. <laughs> Ooh, 179 means it's playing 169 do i play the 160 and hope this is enough let's try it for you boys to see if this works and you'll know after this shot if you need more than a 160. nope 160 is good should run right from that well done that's a nice little approach shot there so 160 into the second is your is your distance really depending on the run out on your clubs etc it's perfect distance, just this one's on a good not line. quite the direction, but I'll let my nice putting take over. This is up. That's and we are two through two. In a row of birdies. You managed to bring things down to two under after that one. I seen the winner last week of CCA. Um complaining he was winning CCA, but um on the third. It was tied thirtieth, I think, in the society overall, which is still a great position. I think the main point being is because I think a lot of the Platinum Elite and Kinetic players, so the Pro Tour players, come in here to either warm up, like myself, before I well, play my Platinum courses. Do, or I think there are other tournaments they use the scores from this tournament for. And um, certainly a few of the Platinum boys have mentioned that before. So I think don't worry about what these guys are doing above you. Just focus on, on your score and your game and where you are in the TGC Tours. Great win for the guy in CCA and to get promoted to Kinetic. And that's what I would... I would be focusing on over what these crazy scoring platinum players are doing in this division because some of them do score crazy scores and I get it. It just it is a bit demoralizing seeing minus twenty one <laughs> the top of leaderboards. Okay, on the green safely. Um, Thirteen. Just let them do their thing, guys. Let's see if I can get the curl on this. Look Man, that is go. three good reads on these greens. I do like the 155 green speeds. Tends all to be right. the ones I am Run best used to, or most used to. Best used to is in proper English. But all right. Three under for the opening three. Nothing particularly too tricky. The greens are a little tricky, but nothing I should daunt. Decent player. So we got our first par five. It is 584 yards downhill. Try and get on the left-hand side of this fairway. This one's looking like a Which I have done. Finder. It's because it's always going to kick right. And we should have a shot, shot in. Ooh, do we though? Ugh, this is just going to kick it there. I don't have the distance here. And even if I tried that, it's too well defended. I need to kick it up from here. So 
I don't have the legs for this, so I am going to come back and try and leave myself a wedge in. Hopefully this is just a pitch, I mean, not a wedge, 67 yards, I'm hoping, but it'd probably be about 55, as I always leave myself. Yep, there we go, exactly 55, <laughs> it's what I always do. Oh no, I was hoping to play it past and spin it back, but that'll spin straight off the green by doing that. So I'm going to have to flop this puppy up. Let's do the 55 with a bit of D-loft on it. Everything's taking this left, including my swing. Yeah, took it too far left. Right club, wrong execution. And we've left ourselves another 16-footer on the par 5. And are we going to par the par 5? I played um, a round before this and I parred every par 5. So I seem to be in a par 5... Par 5 par jinx at the minute in my game. <clears throat> Don't know what it is. Oh, it's getting there. But not today. Another good 16-foot putt. Of the day so far. And I do have a putting video out there, guys, telling you how I read these greens. Um, I read them pretty quick. I play by feel, so there's no maths in that video or any over-convoluted process. It's just my thoughts on putting. Feel free to check it out. And as you... So, par 3 on the 5th. Oh, tricky one. I think the 111 with a little bit of loft should hold up in this little 4 mile per hour wind and land around the pin. That's what I'm hoping for. Decent strike. Twerking a little. Didn't hold up as much as I was hoping in those 4 mile per hour winds. Gonna leave us another 14 foot putt. We are giving ourselves some testers. Let's, let's go to the line on this one. It's got to turn way more. Uh, I thought the line might be a bit too much, and it was. Here's and that's our first par. Foot putt. So far, so good. A lot of you will have a better club for that. I was kind of betwixt and between. 104 was going to be too shy. 111 was always going to be too long. So I had to put a bit of shaping on it. Didn't quite catch it as I wanted to. And hence ended up in the predicament I was in. But okay, four through five. AAP Nack is leading the way. The six is a 483-yard par four. You do have the wind over your shoulder. You should be able to drive this quite a long way down this fairway. 333-yard drive. Still leaving me 175 in. Now again, I'm between clubs. I'm going to try... Mm. Mm. No, I'm going to loft. I was going to de-loft that, but I'm going to loft the 7 iron instead and see if I can get it to sit. This might be the wrong choice, but it's the choice I've made. I need the wind to come in a little bit more. Ugh. Not quite reading these winds. 6 and 4 mile per hour don't seem to be moving the ball as much as I'm that's thinking they're going to in my head. I think that's because I'm this used to playing high winds and I think they all move it. Because that was a decent shot. Hit it as I intended. Just didn't quite get the wind read. Let's see if we can get another putt. Let's well, heading towards the hole. And we can. Good work. Fifth birdie today. Let's have a let's have another one. And we got a, a four, a three, and a five. So three par threes on this opening. Opening nine, which it's explains why it's such a short course. If it's full of par threes. Corks is there at thirteen through twelve. Here's the world number one. And now we're teeing her up on the seventh hole. Hmm. Don't. I don't think I want to be all the way up there. So I'm going to lay back on this one. Give myself, hopefully, a 67-yard wedge in, but it'll probably be bloody yes. There we go. Perfect. 67 on the dot. Pretty much. I'm happy with that. I should just sit down, hop and stop, hopefully. There we go. Right now, a little bit more than I was expecting, actually. Setting up here, ten But a 10-footer. Can't argue with being 10 feet away. Quite a bit of movement still. It could be a good one. But we are making That'll these reads. Down for the bird. And we are 6 under through 7. Par 3 and a par 5 to go. Let's close out this front line in style. Okay. Score is currently clocking in at 6 under par. Pat Strife's 14 through 15. They are all platinum go. players, guys, as I said. Wouldn't worry too much about what they're doing. And 150 should be the club here. Bit of love, bit of spin. Don't over-egg the wind this time. Push that a little bit. 
So it's oh, going to be a little right. bit left. Uh, not too bad. Without that push, would have been a glorious shot. Would have, your belt. would have challenged the hole. This next putt and you'll grab that birdie. But all right. Great work out there. Great work. There we go. Seven in the hole. Tying in the distances. So 160 on the second and 150 on the eighth, guys. Right Should now, be fine. Did day. put a touch of loft, loft on that one, though. So maybe a 148. Teeing this one up on the ninth now. Ninth. Small breeze. I'm gonna go over this side. I think you got a better angle in, and it should camber left if you slow it. Oh, that was a fine swing. It fine didn't. Swing. I 95 percented it though, so I'm gonna leave me a longer shot in than I was anticipating. Yeah, from here, we're looking at about 230 yards or so. Oh, let's do the 222. This could be good. There's a backstop there. Just gotta hit this as I intend. Ah, oh, that's slow. The slow's not gonna help me. It's gotta kick up. It's got to kick up. Got to get up that hill. And this could be nice now. Now it has. Just got to hold. Hold. Not bad. I like that. Take that. About nine feet had the backstop there if I caught here. it properly. And had that little false front for the slow. This is a difficult green. This is difficult for my eagle. This putt's going. But we've read it well. Ooh, that's just gonna drop. And that is nine under for the opening well, nine, guys. So, just showing you, this is a stock PS5 controller. Just FYI, I don't use any bells and whistles. I do play tethered to the PS5. And your score is um, currently nine under par. But yeah, this is the controller I got with the PS5. What, three years ago? Four years ago? So, nothing special going on. All right. Hole now, you can see you. by my swing lines on my tempo how awful. Oh, two part fives back to backs. This is nice. I've learnt to play to my ropey swing lines and fast, etc., etc., and just play the balance of odds every shot. I feel here. statistically what I'm most likely to do and play for that. But there's a lot of green protect in this, so I want to hit this dead, dead on. I think 222 feels like a good number. Oh, and a little push again. It's going to keep it left. That is so annoying. Right, Don't know where that push has come from. Don't normally have that. Normally have fasts that take me left. And so, some fantastic golf. For eagle. But another eagle chance this on the par fives back eagle. to back. Can we go double eagle? Be a nice way to boost your score this week. I think that's going to overturn. To oh, it is going to overturn. I knew it. I knew I hadn't given that enough. That's a shame. Power into that putt. It's a good effort, All right, but not enough. Sink this. Now that was a golf shot. But we get a birdie. That's a shame. Could have been eagle eagle that. We don't have a par five now until the 18th. So now it's just about staying consistent over the next eight holes. 10 under through 10. Corks to 17 through 16. Pandy Man's in at 17 through 18. And teeing up now on the 11th. Oh, oh we could have gone three. Oh, that's annoying. That could have been three eagles on the bounce. So you have three eagle attempts here, guys. Oh, no. That's a terrible swing. Oh, my God. That is an absolutely awful swing. Kick right somehow. Kick right awkwardly. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is lucky as fuck, guys. Did not play for that. I know there's a hill over there, but did not play for that okay, to kick like that. Shot on the 11th. I'm going to putt this. I'm a better putter than I am, Chipper. So let's give this a go. Let's give this a go. See if we can get the eagle we missed on the last. Ah, oh, just overturned. It's a shame. So you have an opportunity for a triple eagle there, guys. You can go eagle, eagle, eagle. If you hit the correct shots, which I haven't been, you can go eagle, eagle, eagle. Here we have a par four hole. But we keep getting the birdies. That's all we want. Mm, let's try and get this narrow bit of fairway up here. That's a better strike. That is cleaner. Okay, is heading to the fairway. Got that weird push at the top of my swing. Okay, second shot here on the 12th. That was nice. That felt nice. The 77 is the perfect club for this. That slow will be fine. That'll help me out a little. Yeah. 
Good Great shot. Work on the About the slope. Saw that one, didn't you? Could have been even better. This one's a seven footer. And we're oh, in work. That's for another birdie. birdie. We're on a run now. And the 13th is a par 3. Will the par 3 Wonder kill my score? I bet it's a long one. We haven't had a long one yet. Then this course is short. So, course is in at 19 through 18, boys. One of those ridiculous scores you hate to see on the leaderboard, but it is there. And to be fair, I can see why. There is quite a few eagleable holes here. Out nice on the course swing. today, that is not going to be good. That's going to be left and long. Nice approach. And here we have a 16-foot putt. And we have another 16-footer at it. And so far, we've been doing all right on these reeds. It's got to hold up, though. No, Oof, not today. Just, just Ooh, that's gone a bit too long, too. Okay, this one for par. On yeah, just watch line. some of these greens, guys. They run away nice past the hole. You're better off being short of the hole there. I was trying to play to be short of the hole there, to be fair. But I overhit it. Currently 12 under par. That's our first par in a while, though. 12 from 13. I'll take that. Can Let's not go on. As you know, I'm now. very capable of a par streak, guys. Um, I did it just now. Playing another tournament. I think I went five, six, seven, eight holes, pars all the way. Okay, this is about 125 yards away. It does get infuriating. I'm going to deal off the 118 into this. Quite a bit of deal loft on it. Use the wind and my natural fast. It should come around. Mm, wind didn't ring around as much as I thought. And too much deal loft, really. Nice. Would have been better if I hadn't had to push oh, again. One, we've got 16 feet. Mm, I think. I think this is relatively straight. As in the brakes should cancel each other out. Let's should come back. There. And it does. Well played to you. That is 13 through 14. Four holes left. See if we can finish hole, with a birdie streak all the way to the end. Vandy man's in at 17. Well, so if I birdied all the way to the end, I would tie him. Oh, wonderfully struck. These pushes are a little worrying now for when I play my platinum round. I've got to iron them out. Now this is about 165 yards out. But I can't feel myself doing it, so... Okay, this should be a good club. Let's try and iron it out now. Yeah, I got the fast instead. It's going to kick right off there. But it's going to be quite an aggressive kick. Yeah. It's not bad. So I played for that left-hand side, guys, because I knew it all run kind of left to right. But... I got quite a nasty kick there, sadly. Birdie. Leaving me a difficult birdie putt. Well, they are putts you have to make in this game. That's not going to turn. Ah, oh, no. just, just a bit too much power. A little less power Short. would have been on the money. Not going to birdie our way home. Starting to struggle. These last four or five holes have been tougher than the opening. So you've got to do your scoring early on, it would appear. Yeah, another long par. Oof, this is a tricky one. I'm going to hit the 170 into this, guys. Let's see where this gets us. Should be okay, I'm hoping. Heading for the green. Just got to just sit down now. Hopefully. Not bad. 170 is the number there. That one dialed in, didn't you? Don't know about this dialed, John, but for the bird. it's a good shot. This putt's tracking. We got the read of these and greens. That was a nice little birdie. Let me have 14 through 16. And after that one, you're two holes to go. A veritable 14 under par. All right, let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Yeah. Do I want to be? Yeah, let's get up close and personal on this par four. Normally I lay up, but today we're going up there. Probably going to be a flop in. On the 17th. Going to play the flop in. A little bit of D-loft. That's too fast, though. That is going way right, but it'll come around. Way right, way left. Here's a nine foot putt. Okay. I don't know what's happened with those flops, but they do tend to go quite a lot right on me these days. I don't know if it's me or the game. 
Oh, oh no way. And that, it Is does, what I've noticed, guys, is, because um, that should have just dropped in. But what I've noticed, you see my swing line on that last putt? If you have a kind of X swing line on a putt, it tends to lip out more than a straight swing line. Just what I've noticed. I might be just imagining it, but every time I do a weird swing line like that, it lips out. We're 14 through 17. Good round, good solid round, as I said. I think this is going to be a scoreboard one this week. Par five to finish. Let's loft this up, see if we can get it all the way down there. It's going to kick left, though. This could be a worry if I don't make the fairway. It should be fine. Not getting up to the hole on this one, am I? Oh, well, maybe. And from here, we're looking at about 195 yards or so to the pin. I'm going to play the 199 and use the backstop because I don't want to be short here. I want to use this backstop if I can. I'm worried about this going too far left, so yeah, I, I did purposely okay. slow that one. And this should use this backstop, right? I yeah, know, it just sits there. Didn't even get up that. it. But we got an eagle opportunity. So that's probably four or five eagle opportunities you can have on this course, guys. See if we can make a second one. Oh, it's getting there. Don't stay straight. Perfect. And there we, we go. Win. There we go, guys. Well, there you go. 16 under through 18. Show when it can be done. Two eagles, probably another two eagles left out there. Pretty decent, pretty nice round this week. Pretty scorable. Get out there, play your rounds. Let me know how you get on, guys. Enjoy TGC tours, and I will catch you all soon. I am happy that you.